Hey there, my name is Dr. Knott. Welcome to a new series. This is called, as you can see, Skyborne. So just like all my other Let's Plays, I have not played a single second of this game. And so we're going in completely blind. So let me tell you a little bit about it, basically all I know. <laughs> Skyborne was released on February 21st of the great year 2014. So it's just over six years old at the time that I am playing this. Uh, developed by Dancing Dragon Games, published by Degica, D-E-G-I-C-A, Degica, I don't know how to say things. Um, RPG, made an RPG maker, I believe. Uh, the reason I'm playing it is it's got very positive reviews on Steam, and you can see it's got kind of like a steampunky type vibe going on here. So all I know is that the Skyborn are a certain type of race, I believe. Um, other than that, that's all I know. So let's get into it. Achievement unlocked. Patience is a virtue. I don't know what that's about, but okay. Claret? We're gonna call her Claret. Ah, another day in paradise, Kagi. So what if the sun can't break through the smog? It gives our shop some atmosphere. Sunshine's overrated anyway. Grr, I just rewired that. Sigh, I wonder if I can trade you in for a cat, Coggy. All right, so Coggy's the cute sidekick robot. So here's Jake. Everything okay in here, Claret? Nothing I can't handle, just a little pest problem. Okay, we've got an important client coming on soon, so you might want to clean things up. Do you see a mess in here? I keep my workspace clean, unlike some people I know. I wasn't talking about your workspace. Your clothes are covered in engine grease. Eh? I'm not paid to look clean. Well, don't say I didn't warn you. Anyway, we need that thing up and running by tomorrow, so get to it. Hmm, what client cares if their mechanic is clean? Now, where did I leave my rivet gun? Oh, right over there to the left by the front desk. Okay. Skyborne officer. Well, well. Looks like we might have a renegade half-breed on the loose. The victim. Let me go, I'm not a half-breed. I've been through processing already, so lay off. He doesn't have any wings, sir. Some half seas are late bloomers. Besides, there's more than one way to prove he's not human. What's going on here? We've got a report of a free half breed in this part of town. You know the law. You're harassing my employee in my shop. Whoa, take it easy, lady to the Skyborn Prefect. I think you should leave. Back off, ma'am. Let's not make this official. Is that the rivet gun? Oh, hey. Get out of here! Get, or get out, get out, get out, get out, get out! Typical dirt stomper. Is that a... slur? You're lucky we've got the client you do. Or you've got the client you do. Else you and I would have words. Keep your nose clean, human. Wait, wait, wait. So are humans good or bad in this case? I think bad? Or win, are you okay? I'm fine. Thanks, Claret. Hmm, what makes them think they can treat people that way? Probably something about their wings, their magic, and the fact that they won the war. Duh. Psh, what kind of question is that? So sorry, Corwin. I don't know why the Skyborn Prefects are coming in here. They've never taken notice of us before. It's okay. Some of them came in the other day. Same routine. It's nothing new. They beat you up daily? Have you told Jake? Really, it's not a big deal. Please don't concern him with it. I'll clean up around here so you can get back to work. Hmm. What do I mean? He's taking punches to the gut daily and he's like, yeah, no problem. What a mess, Coggy. Oh well, I need to fix this airship anyhow. And whoever flies it must be the world's worst pilot. The navigation core is completely shot. We're all out, but I should be able to pick up a new one in the city. What? Oh, I'll be fine. 
Besides, if I run into trouble, I know I do know how to use a rivet gun after all. I just need to grab those before I head out. In that chest! Alright, whoa, she runs. Holy crap. Two rivet guns. Open the menu and equip the rivet guns. Access the menu by pressing escape X or right click on the menu bar. Um, X. Should I equip them? Equip them, machinist. Uh, weapon one will have a rivet gun. Weapon two will have a rivet gun. Nice. Anything over here? No. Okay. Cool. Why don't you take the rest of the day off, Corwin? I would if I were you. I'll be fine. It's you I'm worried about. Jake seemed rather nervous about this new client. Must be a big deal. I mean, even the freaking Skyborn knew about this new client. Anything up here? Anything at all? Should I rest? In random beds? Nope. Not doing any of that. Okay, so we're like up in the air a bit here. Just want to check out the, the layout here. Okay, cool. Street lamp. Got a boat there. Airship, probably. Alright, nothing's going on here, so let's head out. Okay, he doesn't want to say anything. Coggy. Save spot. What? Clary is not level 2. What? What the hell happened there? Just... Alright, let's uh, not mess with anything until we know what we're doing. Ruben, this is an exploration node. Walk into these in order to gain experience points toward leveling up. There are dozens of these all over the world. Some are easy to find, some are more hidden. Reward yourself with exploration. Okay, interesting, interesting concept. I like that. Interesting, interesting, interesting. North, Spencer Dry Dock and Repair. South, Industrial District. Southeast, Blackstone Industries. Um, so this is our little area, this little house here. Okay. Can't go in there, can't go in there. Alright, Claret, let's go walk around town. Lenora, little Claret Spencer came out of her cave. What brings you to town? Surely it must be about work, work, work. You betcha. Just picking up a few things for a ship in very sad shape. Oh, maybe this blinky door is a place to go to? Astrid Blackstone. Well, well, Claret Spencer. You're looking rustic. How is the repair shop business faring these days? Doing quite well, Astrid. Pay is good enough, and a hard day's work really cleanses the soul. It's what us rustic people do to pass the time. Mm-hmm, good to hear. Well, then I imagine you're here for widgets or whatever it is you people do. My uncle over there behind the counter would be pleased to assist you. Alright, cool. Thanks. Long time no speak, Harold. I need a navigation core for an Osprey MK2 yacht. Please tell me you guys have one sitting around. Osprey nav core. Yep, got one right here. Don't sell these much. They run about 20 bits. But I'll let one go for 30 for Spencer's lovely girl. Thanks! Who says good looks don't get you anywhere? Oh boy. <laughs> Alright, well he lowered his price by 25% without me even saying anything, so hey. Who says looks don't get you anywhere? Alright. Okay, I'm sorry! Are we done here? We're done. He won't even speak to me anymore! Oh, okay, we're just doing the same top. Okay, I see. Okay. Did I walk over her? I think I did when she was walking. Ah! When she starts walking, I can walk right on top of her. Because <laughs> she's not in that space anymore, probably. Oh, what? Ow! Who dares to? Oh, great. It's the crazy mechanic again. Oh, great. The pompous Skyborn again. I've had just about enough of your lip, human. Time to teach you some manners. Oh. Claret, you'll be sorry you messed with Claret Spencer. <laughs> Skyborn Prefect. Hi, you think I'm afraid of a rivet gun? You've obviously never faced a Skyborn Warrior. Oh, this is a very weird setup. I mean, she's got, a, I think, a lot of HP? I don't know. 
Oh boy. Never mind, not a lot of HP. Um. Come on, you two. I'll not have brawling in the streets. Leave the human to its work. It? Oof. Surely we have more important things to do. Er, as you wish, sir. Human, I'm keeping my eye on you. Oh. Alright, so Clare's a human as well. Hey, you better fly away. Alright, time to finish this airship job. I mean, let's not discuss the fact that you have, like, half HP, but okay. She's all, she's all good about it. Alright. Uh, probably have to go back because I'm stuck. So what is this? Can you just hop over this or keep exploring? Nope. Interesting little world here. It's like a city of canals that's in the air somehow. Piping bringing water up. Huh. Oh, you're just in my way, huh? Well, I'm happy to see you too, Kagi. Time to finish this repair job. All right, I'd like to introduce you to Sullivan Chesterford. <laughs> I'm sorry. That sounds like such a fake name. Mr. Chesterford, this is my younger sister, Claret. She's our main mechanic here at Spencer Dry Dock and Repair. Hello there, um, miss. He's looking mighty dapper. Hi. Since when do I have to deal with clients? Er, <laughs> well... Mr. Chesterford wanted to see how the repairs are coming along on his airship. His airship? Oh, so you're the owner. Yes, it's been making an odd clanking sound lately. I assume you'll be able to repair it. Ha, the clanking was just one of your problems. The timing belt slipped, causing the engine to misfire. It also found a bent propeller, worn out struts, loose lug nuts, and a giant gouge in the hull. This poor girl's been through the ringer. Your pilot should be fired. Surely I'm not that bad. <laughs> I've taken at least a month's worth of the best flight courses money can buy. You did this? Y you? Loray, important client. Mr. Fancy Pants here is abusing his ship. This model isn't even a year old, and look at the condition it's in. Anyway, Mr. Chesterford, let's go discuss the business contract. Right now. You don't deserve an airship! And that's why Jake won't let you run the front desk. I can't stand it when people don't take care of their machines. Besides, that guy was such a tool, I could have fixed the airship using him. Well, I hope he's not too offended. The Chesterfords are the wealthiest circles, or in the wealthiest circles as well, and not just the wealthiest circles. They've even accepted, uh, jeez, they're even accepted into Skyborne society. We could really use their business. Oh, don't worry. When he sees how smoothly his ship runs after I'm through with her, he'll be back. Assuming he doesn't crash his ship into the Celestial Palace or something. <sighs> Phew! Just about ready. Thanks again, your ship should be ready tomorrow afternoon. A pleasure, Mr. Spencer. I'm glad we were able to reach an agreement. And I look forward to a fresh slew of insults on the morrow from your oh-so-charming sister. Farewell, as he looks right at her. <laughs> ah, Clare, don't you think that just this once you could have tried to make a good impression? Sorry, Jake. That guy just got on my nerves. Yeah, um, Clare, there's something I need to talk to you about. What now? I don't think you're gonna like it much. Okay. In fact, I probably should have talked to you a little sooner. Just tell me already, you're freaking me out! I'm selling the shop to Sullivan Chesterford. Okay, that was like really loud. <laughs> Some, I think 
Mr. Chesterford crashed his ship already. Wait, was that like her world crumbling down? <laughs> look, I know you like to focus on your work, but look around you. Big things are happening in this city, and I can't sit here fixing widgets forever just watching the world change. I have to go be a part of it. But you can't sell the shop. I've already made the deal and the contract is signed. Sorry, Claret. How could you? This, this is our home. Look at all we've accomplished here, especially after Mom and Dad walked out on us. Can't blame them. They probably didn't want to be stuck here either. How could you say that, or, or how can you say that? Are you going to leave me too? Now, hold on a second. I made sure you'll be all taken care of. Trust your big brother. What? Oh, Snapples. I've never seen so much money. Mr. Chesterford and I spent hours working out the deal. In addition to you getting your half of a very generous sum of money from the shop sale, there's a way you can keep working here and run the place. Really? How? Simple. You become Mrs. Chesterford. Okay. 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 You have got to be kidding. Nope. We talked about it. It took some haggling, but he's already agreed. You sold me as part of the shop? Well, well, no. I meant I had to haggle to get him to take you. Ah. Uh, <laughs> not screaming right now. Slam, probably. This is her, like, packing her shit and getting the F out, because what the hell? Homeless, unemployed, humiliated. My brother is an idiot. How could he do this to me? And what made him think I'd marry that Chesterford guy? That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Guess there's only one thing to do. Come on, Kagi. I've got a plan. The airship is still in the work bay and is quite ready. Let's go. You're just gonna steal it? Airship pirate? Hmm. Sounds very familiar, doesn't it? Corwin, er, I was just getting a drink of water. Really? Jake told me the news. Oh. I'll pretend I didn't see you. You will? Every person should be free to make their own choices. Thanks, Corwin. Oh, one more thing. Did you give this to Jake when you see him? Goodness, isn't this your share of the sale money? No, he's gonna need it. Take care, Corwin. Should definitely have kept some of that. If you're stealing a ship, I might as well steal some money. Oh, this is almost too easy. Jake is gonna be furious. What are we like? Skies of Arcadia in it here? Skies of Arcadia, ship pirate, part two. Uh, wait, is he on board? Somehow? Good, looks like everything's here. What the? Zounds! Couldn't have our, like, buddy told us, like, you know, this guy's in here? Thud? No, there should be no thud. I triple-checked the engine earlier. You? What are you doing here? The shop closed hours ago. It's my ship. What are you doing flying it? Awkward. I was just... I was only... Look, Jake told me about your little contract. I decided it is unacceptable. I'm taking this ship as compensation. Thief! How dare you! We have signed an agreement. We have signed agreement. Ah! Storm Rook Sky Patrol drones! I ran straight into them! Ha! Ah, now who's the bad pilot? Your fault for distracting me. Blast, how am I going to explain this to Jake and the city guard? Hmm. Surely we can resolve this in a civilized manner. Well, now you want to talk about it? A little late, the drones are closing in. Bother. Let's fight them off. Fight them? I thought you... Come now, you don't want to be arrested for theft and kidnapping, do you? 
no butt. Ugh, I guess I have no choice. Kagi, take the wheel. Here they come. Let me take the front of their attacks. Make sure my threat is higher than yours, Clare. You'll always attack whoever has the highest threat. What do you mean, threat? Why can't we just blast these out of the sky? You draw attention to yourself by dealing damage. If your threat gets too high, hang back and defend while I try and draw threat away from you. Just be careful and don't get yourself killed. Okay, threat's at 30% and 69%. Oh, she also has to heal. Which I can't. So... How do I... I don't know. Okay, so attacking increases the threat. I see, I see, I see. So I need her to, like, defend every now and then. I should get rid of that one. Incapacitated. Oh shit, her threat's highest. Oh no! All right, I gotta, I gotta set her back. Expose weakness? What? I need to have her discard for a while. Jeez, they can do a lot of damage. I need to guard here. That's barely, it's like, okay, so their threat equals 100% combined, and there's obviously some uh, rounding error here. But. I need, I can't have her attack yet. Alright, there we go. Level up. Clare has reached level 3. Okay, the music gets so loud and then it gets non-existent like right now. Alright, so she's got more HP. That's helpful. But she's down to like 100 something. I say, oh, dab hand with those guns. Achievement unlocked. Okay. I say, Clare, you're a dab hand with those rivet guns. Er, thanks? Why are you helping me all of a sudden? It never helps to antagonize your kidnapper and all that. I haven't kidnapped anybody! That's wonderful news. You return my ship and my person to the dock, then. No way am I going back. I'll have to dump you somewhere else. Oh, are you my new chauffeur? We ought to discuss your wages. Er, look here, Sully Ferd. We both want you off this boat. Fine, I'll let you off wherever you want, but I'm keeping the ship. I even left a bunch of money with Jake to pay for it. Hmm, well, if that's the case, let's make this legal, shall we? Fly me to Uptown, and we can go to the airship registry office and record the sale. You'd do that? Why not? I can always buy another. Well, I guess you can, huh? Sounds like a deal. Don't fall for that! What the hell? Uptown Airship Docks. Huh. Surely you've been to Uptown before. I came here once with Jake and Corwin when we needed some parts for a job, but I didn't see much. Oh, fear not. I am a directional genius! Just head into town, and the registry office will be all the way to the west, right next to the town square. Quest journal updated. Okay, so let me see. Let me see something. Can I just save it? I sure can! Perfect! Alright, so we are going to pick up right here, Uptown Docks, and we're going to go to the Uptown Registry, and can I heal? Oh, they're already fully healed. Perfect. Alright, perfect. We'll start here next time. Thanks for watching. I hope you're liking Skyborne. It's pretty interesting so far. And a little silly. Um, just the way I like it. So, I might turn the volume down. I don't know. It's getting a little loud. Just let me know if that's the case. But, I'll see you next time. Take care. Goodbye.